Hey, this is Rockman. Welcome back to more of this. Doom, how's it going? So, it, I think last time I said, like, oh, we probably don't get coins for doing this, but uh, you probably do. But I think I still don't want to do it. At least not right now. And, um, yeah, maybe there was an easier way to get coins and I was just stupid. I mean, maybe this is the easy way to get coins, but, um, Hey, Ratmus. I think for some reason, for most of last stream, I thought that the only way to get any coins... ...was to do something for the first time, or get a higher rank, or PB, or something, but I don't think that's the case. Um... Go to Zelda 2 here for a second. So like She's getting my powers. If I were to do this and kill Volvagian for like five seconds again or even not, like still getting an S rank or an A plus plus, like actually should still give me a lot of coins, and if I can do it in a few seconds, just keep doing it doing it over and over again for just like Ten times should give me a shitload of coins, I think. I don't know. Hey, Cobra, how's it going? Real trouble figuring out the controls for some reason. Why are the controls so weird to me? Five coins for doing that. Let's do the next. I switched to the D pad. That was. Well, that didn't work. Well, doing this ten times isn't going to be quite as easy as I thought. I still got sixty coins for that. on this off stream, right? I just do not understand the jackhammer and Blake is not here to explain it to me again. for that piece of shit performance. It's funny how the NES does not behave this way. Thank you. 
You know what I love to do is, like, have an emulator save state of this actual game on emulator and play Volvagia over and over again and see if the game, like, or just compare these challenges to how they feel in this game versus on an actual fucking NES. And I'm willing to bet that it's, like, night and day. Real fun for you guys to watch, right? Right, we got over 500 coins, so hopefully that's enough for right now. All right. Uh, well, Super Mario Brothers One needs the last one, so let's become the Mario Master. Whoa, start from the beginning and use warp zones to... This is just beat the fucking game. You want me to do this with a... With a Switch controller, you want me to beat Super Mario Brothers in a fucking window that's smaller than my own anus. At least I have rewind technology. Didn't hit that. Consumers even do this? Well, just kidding, they have rewind, so there's literally no way I can fail at this. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, what rank I get. Previous challenges in this game for Mario 1 have been preparing me for this moment, right? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna get a 1 up from coins, and it doesn't matter anyways because if I die, it'll just rewind, so why did I even bother getting a 1 up? Oh, 
warning, warp zone ahead. I was gonna say, what if you did the speedrunner thing where you glitch the screen and go down the pipe and make it go to the warp zone, but this game will pro probably have a fucking seizure if you do that, like trying to go to the minus world. Holy shit, there's a one up here. Good thing I got it. I'll take my fire flower back now. But so now we know that that one up is there because I used the warp zone. But if I had come here from 7-4, then it would only be there if I got enough coins in 7-3. Literally nobody knew that in 1980. Anything, I'll tell you that. Literally nobody. <sighs> They're totally equivalent, Doom. I mean, I could have expected it like, beat World 8 from starting with 8-1, but... I mean, I think that would be equivalent to beating the first dungeon of Zelda. Maybe. At least not in skill, at least in scope. I guess I really need this one up. seen that Koopa Troopa do that. Doesn't matter because I'm basically invincible. Any death equals a rewind, there's, so there's literally no consequence for failure. What is going on?! like to be like Superman or Agent Kent there's like literally no consequences for your actions so like Fucking power up anyways. I'll just beat this small. As I um yesterday I was watching this podcast. It's uh the guys who played Clark Kent and Lex Luthor on Smallville. They're watching the episodes and talking about them, right? So 
the episode they were discussing was an episode where... <sighs> Jor-El had taken Clark's powers away, so he was mortal for a few days. And there was this guy who was, like, trying to destroy Smallville. And basically Clark walks up to him and is like, Hey, you shouldn't be doing that. And the guy just pulls out a gun and just shoots him. And, uh, <laughs> basically, uh, the guy who played Clark was like, he said something along the lines of, the thing that I had to play most was surprise. <laughs> because, like, this is literally unheard of. He's like, wait, wait a minute, this guy just pulled a gun and, I'm, <laughs> and shot me? Like, wait, wait, what? Now I'm bleeding? I've never experienced that. I'm frankly shocked. <sighs> Dazed and confused. Twelve fifty six was A rank. God, what is S rank? Yeah, how about fuck off with that shit? If I wanted to play Super Mario Brothers, I'd do it on a goddamn NES, the way God and me alone intended. So, Super Mario Brothers is done. The Legend of Zelda is done. Metroid is not done. Uh, Donkey Kong is not done. We're gonna save those and Kid Icarus definitely for later. How about Super Mario Brothers 2? Oh, we, we already did that. Uh, Excite Bike. And I do want to do Excite Bike, maybe Ice Climber, maybe Balloon Fight. Doom wants to see me do Super Mario Brothers 3. Zelda 2 is done, all S ranked. Super Mario Brothers 2 Lost Levels is done, Kirby. So, Alright, so we're going to Super Mario Brothers 3, Doom. Alright, so we left off at Roy, who is our boy. and get a magic ball. Did you know that this game had magic balls, Doom? So this is World 6. Uh, what level is it? Can't lose hammer form. for failure. Well, there is no consequence for failure here. You can't kill electric waffles with hammers? I thought you could. Killing with hammers? Since when? It's probably horrible. D 
Didn't think it was going to be that horrible. Deaths really added up. That fucking Mario 1 lulled me into a false sense of security. As surprised as Clark Kent getting shot. You wanna get in the door? this to be a problem, but it is be clearly becoming a big problem, because anything less than an A rank is unacceptable, and this is proving to be extremely difficult. take a hit and it doesn't care. That's nice. After challenges where it's like, nope, you can't take a hit. Hey Zoda, how's it going? Perilous pussy, as Ratness would say. We just have to beat this level. Hopefully getting hit doesn't matter. I was like, definitely use the tail attack. And I was like, yeah, that definitely helped me save time there. Completely missed where I was trying to get to, but whatever. Like, this could be used to get some coins, I bet. Let's see if I can tank this. Gotta love that iframes in Super Mario Bros. 3. Was it, what is it, about 47 nanoseconds? Five more coins, not a big deal. Who are we fighting now, Ludwig? Don't in speedrunning, it's better to grab the wand as close to the ground as possible. It feels like, you know. That's not the case in this. I'm just doing this again for more coins, I guess. That gave me 30 more coins. Uh, but since in this you're not falling faster, that's not the case. I thought I could have got S rank if I hadn't screwed that up. Let's try one more time. Oh. 
I didn't get no S rank. Yeah. Probably better than killing Volvagia, which is what I was trying to do at the beginning of the screen, so it will totally screw that up. Also, his... Where he goes seems to depend on where I am on the screen. And that's enough for now. Oh, apparently it's not enough for now, because I need 300 coins, so let's do it again! I got S rank even though I screwed up that last jump. Okay, and look at that, 10.86 versus 10.60. Somewhere in there is the difference. I didn't actually want to do it again. Look at that, even better. Okay, I got 65 for doing that. Yes. Alright, the last challenge, 300 coins in Super Mario Bros. 3, is it going to ask me to beat the entire game, Doom? World 1 wizard. Clear World 1. Any percent? Alright, so let's, let's look back here, since I don't think Zoda saw this. So the last challenge in Super Mario Bros. 1 literally wanted me to start from 1-1, the beginning of the game, and clear the entire game using Warp Zones. But in Zelda 1, it literally just wanted me to beat level 1 dungeon. Now, what did Lost Levels want me to do for the final thing? Just beat 8-2, and that's it. I mean, 8-2 is harder than anything in Super Mario Bros. 1, probably. I mean, I, I guess figuring out... Some of the jumps are tricky and figuring out that you need to get the vine there. But for a Lost Levels level, that's pretty easy. Now, going back to Zelda 2, yeah, it also wanted me to beat Dungeon 1 and Zelda 2, which is a little bit longer and more difficult than Zelda 1. Speaking of Zelda 1... I think I learned later from looking up a, a walkthrough video on YouTube that I had a really terrible route in this dungeon, and I was totally wrong with what I did, so that's why my rank is only A on that. If I'm going to go back and get S, probably not. Alright, so Super Mario Bros. 3, we got to beat World 1. I'm going to, before I actually do that, I want to look up and see if the internet will tell me what time do I need for S rank or A rank in this challenge. Can I find that information on the internet? Because that would be extremely helpful, like, going on... see any website that just fucking gives that fucking goddamn information. Ugh, that is so stupid. Like, this is this is literally what the internet and game facts are for. I have a question about a game. It should be stupid fucking easy for a goddamn speedrunner to write down this information. This should not be impossible to find, and yet it's impossible to find. Like, yeah, I can find videos of somebody doing S ranks, but it's just somebody getting an S rank. It's not like telling me, like, okay, you know, like in the previous one, 10.60 is the cutoff for S rank, 10.80 is the cutoff for A plus rank. Why can't that information just be available in a goddamn text document? I would assume so, Doom. Okay, 
So what I can do is... I, I have a video open of a person getting S ranks, and of course, like, the stupid thing is, I have to go through the video, and it is segmented, but I need to know, like, World 1 Wizard... Like, here's somebody doing it, I don't know, maybe world record or something. And it's like, well, that's great. That's the world record time. I'm never going to get that. It's four minutes and nine seconds. The timer stops. Uh, so get this. You have to beat uh, whatever the fuck the Koopa Kid is in, at the end of World 1, right? And you have to get the magic wand and go through the cutscene of falling down so it's actually better to get it near the ground, right? And then the timer ends when the king has the magic wand in his hand. But again, so I know 409 is S rank, but I don't. that doesn't help me because that's a world record run and I'm going to get nowhere near that shit. But I can at least take a look at, like, what this guy, what levels this person does. Okay, so obviously he does 1-2, the Fortress, instead of getting the Warp Whistle, he beats the boss, and then 5 and 6, you have to do that. And I wonder if he gets to bypass the Hammer Bros. I, I'm sure the, the only way to bypass the Hammer Bros is to do some thing on the map that I don't understand because it's highly technical, not to be confused with high technical. So I'm probably going to run into the fucking Hammer Brothers, which is going to waste fucking time. Okay, so the cutoff for S rank seems to be five minutes. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm, all I need to do for myself is if I get A rank or higher, I'm fine with that and I move on, so. All right. time getting a leaf, but I've probably already wasted time. <sighs> I would waste more time if I got three stars, so I gotta be aware not to, right? Interesting to know, Zoda. Getting the warp whistle is actually faster. I wonder if it's going to like say that that's invalid or something. Can't go that way.
And there was nothing in the rule stipulation that said that, game. It was just beat world one. It wasn't beat world one, you know, whatever exits you deem are appropriate. But apparently that's what it is. me a shitload of time. I flew over this entire level game. ZS rank. <sighs> now are we even going to get a rank? <laughs> because of it not letting me get the warp whistle, whistle and because of me screwing up that flying, I probably lost a minute. no way to do this any faster. Big screw up. Super Marble, there's three things are completed. Doom, are you happy? You gonna get this game and do it yourself better? That is a lot of Kirby challenges.
love how it's just like, go around the track once, but that's not the answer because you can't fall down. That should be part of the stipulation. Bullshit! Well, not even once, which is, of course, impossible. once, and also, do we mention you can't crash at all? Do some ice climber. Reach the bonus stage. some more coins, so...
4K Nolos Dose, Doom. Dead yet? Go around the track twice? Oh god. lap without falling down, but I'm sure it wasn't a good time. Good enough, wow. Did not expect that to go so well after failing on earlier levels. Which of these do you want to see me do versus which do you not want to see me do? Let's try Metroid. Break through the floor and ride the elevator down. Is it in here? Apparently that was fucking garbage. Raid. 
Have I ever defeated Kraid? this, right? No consequences. Good riddance, Ridley. I've definitely never beat Ridley in this game. Again, it looks like I have, what, full health and full missiles? Don't be ridiculous, Ratmus. Ridley's too big for Smash. I slow down there. Uh, I don't know, Doom. It seems like he's just using missiles. Can you even switch to the beam? I don't know. What would be the button to even switch to the beam? Oh! A, a new stipulation! You can't fall in the Fanta or whatever it's called. Nobody said anything about that. Alright, does that answer your question, Doom? slow down. Pfft. Well, yeah, if you start me in midair, what'd you expect? This is so dumb. Why can you not fall in the Fanta? That makes no sense. So stupid. Beating Ridley is the easy part. Getting through this room without falling in the Fanta, that's the challenge. With these shit, piss poor, crippled controls. Love it when you start me mid-air and mid-jump two seconds behind. And then I just fall off. This is... This makes me want to strangle whoever made this game. They have no concept of how to use an NES. No concept at all. game anymore. Really don't. This one challenge has destroyed all the goodwill that this entire game had.
And you have the audacity to give me a B++. An audacity! Go fuck yourself, game. complete in our RNG. can't predict your movement, how am I supposed to beat you? Gotta love the shitty analog controls. best way to do this. Shitty ass analog controls. Burger time. <laughs> Shut 
shud shudder to think what this is going to be. Let's try Ice Climber again. Collect all eggplants. Okay, this is the bonus stage. I have not done this in a while, so... After that level in Super Mario Bros. 3 with the ice physics that completely fucked me up for life with ice physics. There's literally no ice physics here. Nice jump, idiot. I love it when I do something, and then it does something, and then I do that exact same thing again, and a completely different result happens, and I'm more shocked than Agent Kent getting shot by a bullet. Doom, that reminds me of another story uh, from hearing Tom Welling talk during that podcast. Tom Welling is the actor who played Clark Kent. Um, there, there was this story, again, this was from a podcast of them watching an episode a couple seasons ago, probably a couple years ago. What did he say? Something like... Okay, so I, I think what happened was, if I, again... I think I'm remembering this correctly. They were shooting a scene, and in the scene, a bad guy pointed a gun at Clark, and so they acted the scene, and then the director said cut and came over to the actor and was like, why aren't you acting afraid? You should be acting afraid. And, and, and Tom was like, what the hell are you talking about? He's like, he just pulled a gun on you. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm somehow hitting B and holding B down when I did not mean to at all. Unfortunately, I will go back to this. But first, we're going to see what this is. Excuse me? I, I don't know if I've ever done this, but... I, I mean, again, there's no consequence other than being too slow with rewinds and... Uh, oh, 
to God it's an A rank because Zoomers can't even do this to begin with, so... I mean, that was pretty fast. I'm worried about this level, though, because this is the one I've had most trouble with. How am I supposed to avoid this? Oh, there goes all my time. Probably should have beat the game by now. I would have if I was Steve Weeby. Jumps working differently? They sure seem to. I've already lost, haven't I? Is this even possible? I think I'm soft locked. I'm totally and utterly soft locked. Thing, that jumping over those fireballs is nothing like jumping over the barrels. I mean, I don't think I've ever sat down and done this. Sure would be nice if the enemies behaved the same way every time, wouldn't it? Soft locked. I had no problem whatsoever doing that level by itself, but now the enemies move completely differently and I don't know what to do. tips on how to beat this fucking game, I'd love to know it. And now the enemies are behaving in a completely different way. Can't 
climb a ladder while doing this. Hope I never have to do that again as long as I live. Okay, let's assume that I'm not going to do Kid Icarus or Kirby's Adventure. And I finished Donkey Kong. That leaves Metroid, Ice Climber, and Balloon Fight. I mean, how hard could Balloon Fight be? I don't know, I've never played it. Where were we on Ice Climber? We got two more on Ice Climbers. Peak performance. You may not like it, but this is what it looks like. Song, are you okay? just angry, not hungry at all, just completely fucking angry at this game. controls in Ice Climbers just suck, or if it's the controls in this version of Ice Climber. I jumped! thing that's keeping me playing this game is my insane completionist rage. Legend Balloon Fight. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Once again, 
wrong button. can't even think of the words. An extreme lack of floor collision. I'm literally falling through floors. Lost count of how many floors I've fallen through. Okay, well... Really appreciate it if you just give me an A rank so I never have to do that again. Learn what fucking floor collisions are. anymore. setup of this level different than it was before. Certainly seems that way. Is there some reason why I'm not succeeding? I've jumped to this bird six ways from Sunday. Maybe want to play Apex Legends more than this game. Thank you. 
a surprise. Already failed. So it should have happened the first time. Now, unfortunately, back to Metroid. I jumped, pressed the button, Samus didn't jump due to lag. Should have happened the first time. Balloon Fighter, apparently. I played Joust, though. Is this like Joust? Oh, apparently I need to kill them twice. Should be. Absolutely fuck this. Fuck this so hard that I can't even begin to fuck. So here's where we're at. Super Mario Brothers, done. The Legend of Zelda, done. Metroid, I would like to finish. There's three more to go. Donkey Kong is done. Kid Icarus, fuck that, we're not doing it. Super Mario Brothers 2, done. Excite Bike, done. Ice Climber, done. Balloon Fight, fuck that, we're not doing it. Super Mario Brothers 3, done. Zelda 2, I'm done. Lost Levels, done. Kirby's Adventure, fuck that, we're not doing it. So that leaves Metroid. Elevator Blitz, get on the elevator. Explanation Doom? No, 
Now, what hidden uh, caveats do they have to add to this? I bet you I can't fall in the drink. Understand why that's a thing. What do we got here? Avoid the Metroids. We don't even have to kill them, we just freeze them. Switch to missiles. Well, at least it wasn't less than A. And that leaves one 300 challenge left. why I hate speedrunning. Well, I've certainly never done that in Metroid Zoto, if that's the case. Excuse yourself? Not even kill Mother Chisnet. So it's precision precision jumping that I cannot do. Not very well. Hate these jumps in Super Metroid and hate them here. I can't even do these with an NES controller. I'm doing them with a Switch Pro controller with an analog stick. Like that, Zoda? I bet every time I fall down, you're, it makes you die inside. Makes me die inside, too. sure if I can survive the in-game countdown, let alone any kind of rank. And I have never done this in Metroid. Not even on an emulator. Gonna be the rest of the stream. Hope you like it. I hate 
hate this with every fiber of my being. Can, like, is it even possible to control where you land, or, or what? Sure doesn't seem possible to me. at this point. And I can't even do that. ceiling. All the way down to the bottom. It's going to be a long night, ladies and gentlemen. Long, painful, angering night of rage. The stream doesn't end until I get A rank on this. No matter how long it takes. Jump. I jumped. Nothing happened, however. Already giving my final verdict, I was wrong. NES challenge, whatever the fuck this game is called, garbage, waste of money, wish I hadn't bought it, don't like it. Getting S ranks on Zelda 2, not worth it. anyone even do this? Can't tell ya. It's certainly beyond me. until I get A. I pressed the jump button. Nothing happened. You just fell off.
Is there a way to cancel the screw? Press the jump button, did nothing. Press the jump button, did nothing. Press the jump button, did nothing. Unless that's tips on how to beat this, I don't want to hear it, person on Discord. to smash my controller. even have Skype or Discord open anymore. Unless the video is going to do it for me, it doesn't really help.
I jumped, you fucking piece of sh This is one of those games where there needs to be consequences for the game developers. Games like this cannot be allowed to be released to the public without consequences for the game developers. What consequences I have in mind, I'll leave that up to your imagination. That's the end of that game. I'm never playing it again as long as I live. I recommend that nobody buy that game. It is the biggest piece of shit I have seen in a long time. Hey, Salsa, this game's worse than Skyward Sword. Apparently, I dropped 295 frames somewhere. Like I give a rat's fucking ass.
Well, since we're never playing that piece of shit ever again, um, I'm going to take a break and then, as a bonus, I'm going to hook up the Wii U, and we're going to load up NES Remix, and we're going to take a look at that game that I haven't touched in 10 years, and see if uh, see how the challenges compare uh, real quick, and see if maybe I did not complete Zelda 2 with all rainbow stars or whatever. I just want to see. Apparently I have caps lock on. I wonder why. If anyone has to leave during the break, I don't blame ya.
Okay, there we go. Hello. I'm back. using a Wii U Pro controller for the first time in I can't even remember and it feels 10 times worse than the Switch Pro controller is the fucked up analog stick doing this cuz I'm not doing this I was like, I unplugged the controller and it's still doing it. Well, the controller's wireless. Uh, how do I fix this? I don't know how to turn this controller on or off. I don't know anything. I have to turn the system on and off. I don't know how to use this fucking Wii U. It's a piece of garbage. See you in hell, Ratness. I might just have to use. I, I'm gonna have to use a game pad. Nothing is charged. I can't use anything if it's not charged. using the uncharged Wii U gamepad. Okay, can I just fucking look at what's going on here, please? We got Remix 1, Remix 2. I never finished this game, and I never will. So this has Zelda 1. Let's let's look at Zelda 1. I've got three rainbow stars, rainbow stars, rainbow stars, rainbow stars, rainbow stars. <laughs> Thanks, controller. Okay, we confirmed that we got rainbow stars on every one of the Legend of Zelda. So let's back out and go to NES Remix 2, because I'm guessing that's where Zelda 2 is. Wow, this game is poorly made, can you tell? Really poorly made. Hello, Stelnox and Salsa, if I didn't already say that. So we gotta hit back. Go to NES Remix 2. Alright, what do we got here? We got Remix 1, Remix 2, bonus. Ooh, lost levels. Metroid, Kid Icarus. Zelda 2, we also got Punch-Out, Mario 3, lots of cool games unlike the other game I was playing, but uh, alright, let's see, this only has 10, Zelda 2, Rainbow Stars, 
Confirmed. Confirmed. I don't have to do this. All right. Well, I got all S. I got all S ranks on Zelda 2 in. I can't even remember the name of the stupid game. Nintendo World Championships, whatever the fuck. I didn't get all S ranks in Zelda 1, but I did get all rainbow stars on Zelda 1 and 2 in this fucking game, so. I guess I accomplished something, right? Looks like I cleared all of Metroid. Didn't get all stars or anything like that. I cleared all the lost levels. Let's see, I cleared all of Lost Levels, I cleared all of Metroid. Let's just see if I care about any of these. I cleared all of Punch-Out. I didn't get- I did not get all Rainbow Stars on Mario 3, I'm sure I could have, but, like, I want to play this fucking game with this fucking controller at this fucking time of my life. The newest one what? You mean Nintendo World Championships, the game I was just fucking playing? That was literally what I was doing, Salsa. The one I said is terrible and never buy it. Okay, I, I bet you I could complete Mario 2 and get all better, but again, I'm not going to because I'm so fucking pissed. Alright, I'm going to take one more look at this and then I'm going to end the stream because fuck this. Uh, we never actually finished Donkey Kong. Do I care? No. Never finished that. Never finished that. I guess I finished a lot less on this side of it. Uh, I did all of Excite Bike, so that's uh, cool, I guess. Did I really do all of Balloon Fight except for the last one? Am I going to do that? No, because fuck that game. Same with Ice Climber. Alright, Super Mario Brothers 1. This has a lot of challenges. Let's see where I'm at here. So far I've gotten at least three stars in every single one except this, apparently. That's when I gave up caring, apparently. I completed them all. Am I going to care about this? No. Um, so yeah, I played this game on stream, uh, like, ten years ago. I did it as part of a series that I did called Casual Wii U Games or something, and none of that is on YouTube anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. Nobody fucking cares, because I took it off YouTube. So I'm never playing that game again, never playing the other game again. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking mad, Salsa. I'll say one thing about the game. Uh, the Wii U disc, like, you know, the label looks really nice like an NES game. Well, that's cool, I guess. So yeah, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. It sucks. Don't buy it. Never playing it again, never streaming it again, just like NES Remix Pack. So, what does that mean? Today's Thursday. It means that Saturday afternoon, Ratmus is finally, after months, going to be continuing Super Paper Mario. Yay! Andy's making Detroit-style pizza. Yay! And next Monday, we'll continue Super Mario Odyssey, which is a way better fucking game than this. One of my favorite games of all time, Super Mario Odyssey. Yay! And, uh, so, will we continue Super Mario Odyssey next Thursday or something else crazy? Maybe I have some more crazy, stupid shit up my sleeve. You don't know. I mean Super Mario 3D All-Stars? You don't like Detroit-style pizza, Stelnox, but it's delicious. 
I'm not doing Skyward Sword. I don't even own the game anymore. What am I? No, I, I actually do own the game, but it's... A, I don't own the HD version. Only Song does, and I ain't playing that again. Nobody is streaming that I care to raid. We dropped 295 frames while I was swearing at Metroid. Yes, that is that is a good way to put it. I, I own a lot of games that I have disowned, not including Super Mario 3D World that's actually broken. But yeah, you know what? I hereby disown Nintendo World Championships. I disown... Well, you know, it, it's not that I want to disown NES Remix Pack. I really don't. It's more that I want to disown the Wii U controllers. Uh, but yeah, I'll disown Skyward Sword for Wii. Um, but you know what? Game Party 1, 2, and 3, the trilogy for Wii, I am definitely keeping those in my heart. Uh, those are much better games compared to the ones we played tonight. <coughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.